everyone just wait for one two minutes we'll start after that Hi, Michelle. Good morning. Good morning. I mean, just give us two minutes. Let's everyone should join because I don't want to interrupt in between. So sure. just wait for two minutes. We'll start on time. Sure. Hi, Michelle, sir. Yeah, good morning. Michelle, sir. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Just give us two minutes. Like, okay, we'll start it. Okay, so thank you very much for joining the session. Okay, so I hope most of you knows about me, but still what the agenda, as I told you to everyone, the agenda of this session is the first 10 minutes, I will let you know that what exactly I'm doing, what exactly we are going to do in, in this particular batch, what you can expect from the session, right? And how I'm, I'm trying to help to you all. This is what we are going to discuss in all this today's session, okay? So my name is Vishal most of you is already connected through into my whatsapp groups i have multiple whatsapp groups maybe few of them is already on the group the part of the group most of them hopefully so you know know about it if anyone is not a part of that whatsapp group you can definitely ask me in the chat here or if somebody is joining from the youtube they can even the comment section so definitely then i will give you the group to join okay so my name is vishal I'm working in IT from last 19 years as a database architect. Okay. And uh, I'm started this teaching concept from COVID onwards because in COVID, the situation, everybody at home and we are trying to do something at that time. What I did is, and, and, and I, I wanted to, everyone should follow this practice because I want to switch a company, right? So what I did, I prepared myself for different, different technologies, whatever I know from many things from the database side, from the cloud side and uh, from architecture point of view designing point of view right but when i thought that am i prepared or not so what should i do so we have a group of few friends like i am here in us one of my friend in australia one my friend in uk two of my friends are india so we make a group and by the group we start preparing like we can prepare one topic and talk to each other but how do i know that i prepared enough 
because when you have experience is more the questions are expecting the same way so at that time i start teaching people and i say that okay let's try to teach people and if i'm able to teach them right then it means that my preparation is good so and i want to help my brother at that time he has some issues because on the covid side so because of that i started this training concept of giving training my training when i'm going to start it is totally focused on the base concept of the database to the advanced concept everything we'll discuss in this batch most of people are fresher and many of them are more than 15 year experience as well for all of them these classes are very much helpful i am giving this guarantee to everybody whoever already joined my sessions or who knows about me right that we'll try to make a concept we will learn our concept build up your database concept right and then when you go for interview right or go for anywhere to start working in a project wherever you can go right you know the things how it will work does not matter from wherever you learn either from me or go for any websites or go for any institute or by self learning or from google anywhere you can do nobody actually can teach you all of us or just give you a direction that what exactly you have to do actual learning comes when you actual go and work in a real time scenario because what i can give i can give a table contains 100 records 500 records a google or youtube or any other websites can give you 500 10 record 20 records 100 records but real scenario we have millions of records in a table where we have to work on that different different type of scenario different different type of data hundreds of table in one environment thousands of table in one environment which we cannot provide it we can give an idea how it will work anyone not only me anybody so that is why always try to focus and learn on the concept side because and try to know learn the concept and go and crack the interviews so that you can go into a company when you join a company right with your good knowledge then you start working there in a real time scenario and you all will be learn that what is happening how it is happening how the project is going how the real time scenario will come which type of questions will come how to solve it so i'm telling you one thing to all of you 40 percent of the daily routine work okay let me tell you to all of you i hope everybody able to see my screen can anybody confirm able to see my screen yes we shall it's visible yes sir yes, okay so 40 percent of your daily routine work every yes anjir sake uh, you raise your hands ask your question anjir you raise your hands okay no, uh, no i'm sorry actually you said that no uh, to give thumbs up That's no problem so 40 remember one thing to everyone 40 percent of your daily routine work everyday real-time project work is comes from the base concept if you know your base concept, the 40% of the everyday detail work you are able to solve it by using only base concept, base concept if you know about it. If you go for any interview, 40% of your interview questions is based on your basic concepts only. All basic concepts are 40% of the interview based on. If I am talking about scenario based question, scenario based question, 100% of your scenario based question, it comes only and only from the concept. 100% of the scenario this question is only comes from the concept so focus from learning most of you ask me that we shall can you give me top 20 interview questions top 15 interview questions or what are the inter uh, important interview questions i am telling you the, the person who is taking your interview that person is not stupid okay that whenever you start giving answers within 2 minutes he knew that that you are coming from google or chat gpt or actually you work on the scenario that person is not stupid at all he, he understand within within two minutes so when you start answering you have to learn how to answer that is what we are going to focus how to answer we are going to learn in each scenario now see this here how to answer means if any topic comes any topic comes we have to understand the base concept if you know the base okay this is how it is working we learn everything and this is what my first time met agenda don't worry i will not bore you anymore so let's go back how i'm teaching in my previous sessions okay so i'm going to my one of my uh batch here my current b24th batch is running see here i'm every day able to see my gmail i'm writing b24 right i'm making it there what about the class we will learn after every session 
after every session i am giving you notes to all of you why i am giving notes because i know nobody has time to go and revise the whole videos we are learning about 80 hours nobody has 80 hours of time that is very practical think practically nobody has 80 hours of time to go and revise and once you revise once 80 hours after two days again you don't want to revise and again you don't want to make again 80 hours you don't have so much time so what i am doing whatever you are discussing in the class you don't have to make any copy and pen the screen will be captured and every day i am providing notes whatever I'm discussing i am here available to one to one for any question you all have any question any confusion you all have you all can ask me one to one without hesitation okay how i am going in the batch you can see whatever we are discussing anything suppose we are discussing about cursors in the class so whatever we are discussing real time examples we'll take a copy paste and give into the notes this is how it is working what is, this is a handwritten notes maybe you can find a spelling mistake maybe you can find grammatical mistake these type of things are possible but i try to deliver the concept what we discuss in the class how it work how it is working everything what is happening it is written here as well into the class it is happening everything we are doing in the class same way one to one every day any any topic any topic not only one topic whatever we are discussing any topic if you learn here you are defined exception we are learning so we are discussing here we are defining here we are raising what is happening it is printing this is happening in the error this is happening in the error raise application error can we do this all scenario based question we are discussing every day in the, into the class the people who knew me other than my session and other than my notes you don't have to worry about anything i will cover each topic just like few days before we are learning our concept of performance tuning we are learning our class right we just completed performance tuning in our class b24 right we discuss each and everything how explain plan working how hint is working how joins are working how queries are working how parsing are working so whatever we are discussing only and only my notes are enough to all of you to crack all the interviews and each topic you are discussing we are discuss performance performance based questions and scenario based question both each and every day with each and every topic sometimes it looks like to all of you the topic is very easy right but actually whenever you read the same book again and again and again you definitely get something new you focus then after three months when you go from here right you are able to crack each interview i am giving guarantee that more than 95 percent questions are exactly same exactly copy paste what we discuss in the class and which is written your notes as well if you just revise the notes into the class that is more than enough for you to crack each and every interview the people who already joined my class they knew about it or you can ask in any of my group that if they if you can ask the feedback in the group itself whoever is joining me most of you is joining me through the reference definitely so the reference people are joining me so whatever the topic we are learning you all can see that b24 here for 24th batch every topic has a notes every topic we are discussing the concept and all things coming in not only sql pl sql but even from the sql queries as well each and every sql query how this sql query is working how this is working we are going to teach you my my main concept from this particular batches right whenever i'm teaching any session what my concept is i want to teach you few scenarios after the session end you all will learn the base concept how exactly it is happening number two writing sql you all will understand and learn and write sql as well you can write five thousand lines of sequels if you just know sql is all about trick every day in the group you know that i'm sending question of the day i'm explaining i'm answering if anybody asking questions i definitely try my best to answer i will execute at my end create the answer send it to everybody yeah. right so how to write sql how to understand sql what is pl sql how this is pl sql is working what is performance tuning how we are working exception handling why we are doing how we can do like this why not we can do like this we can understand all the concepts for sql is all about tricks you should know the trick just by the learning that concept you all should know when somebody can ask a question it automatically you know that here i'm using analytical here i'm using lead here i'm using lag here i'm using rank here i'm using aggregate here i'm using order by here i'm using having here i'm using case here i am using decode just by understand the question you should it will come from your mind itself this is what i'm going to implement 
if you know the concept you understand everything what is happening here so you have to focus on concept first this is what my my uh, fund is teaching to everyone focus on concept first we start from the concept and one more thing i'm not a trainer i'm not an institute trainer i don't have any uh, you know what i can say a uh, fancy ppt okay that i can open a ppt i can start okay my name is vishal jaiswal and i am industry from last 19 20 years i did this this and this and i and i can make a colorful ppt to start a topic i don't have any colorful ppt to all of you okay whatever i am providing to all of you every day just like for every batch not only b23 if i go to b22 batch all batch have their own notes whatever we are discussing in the class the same notes coming here so like package i am discussing the package notes are in. whatever we are discussing the class same thing will be copy paste going to all of you same thing how it is happening why it is coming how this work every day everyone receive their own notes so what why the, the difference between one notes is if you have your own notes and you start revising after suppose one month after one month when you start revising if you open your notes you know that okay yes we shall teach the same thing into the class so when you see the same example in front of you same example in front of you okay then things will be revised more fastly to all of you, you know that okay yes this is what we discussed in the class it is easy for us we know that why we shall give this example take for example i'm talking about bulk collection when i discuss bulk collect i give this example to all of you you when you revising this particular topic you know that okay yeah this this topic we discussed in the class this is what we shall discuss it everything is written here say this example i want data from different table like i want employee name there may be grammatical mistake there may be spelling mistake okay but i try to deliver the concept what exactly we are doing how it is happening how bulk collect for or limit will be work how save exception will be work how collection will be working here why you why we are using save exceptions how we are using this uh, what means any any topic associative array nested table v array every topic will be here and we discuss in detail that how it is happening and only my notes are enough few people who are asking for recording just two more minutes then we start the class who asking for recording i am providing recording only and only if you requested in advance that we shall today i have some problem some guest at home or maybe i stuck somewhere into the traffic we shall i'm not able to attend the class so i will record the session and give it to you for sure but if you think that we shall every day will come record the session and give me the session believe me one thing if you consider myself as a more experienced than you i am telling you nobody will go and listen the recording nobody nobody will listen the recording the reason because nobody has time you can listen one recording but do you listen not 20 records and 10 recording no definitely not so when i am putting my effort i am expecting to all of you to come into the class listen into the class the person who actually attend all the classes with all my experience of 23 24 24 is still going on but till 23 batch my experience was the person who are just attending the session they all are selected within session going on they all are selected within session going on because they just attend the class okay that's it if you just come in the class you can listen the things right there are many people joining the same batch okay okay that's it and there is one more thing there is no demo because i am not in institute i don't have as such i am starting my first class today because the people who will continue after three four class i don't want for them anything will be lost for them they don't want to waste their two weeks right so for them there is nothing like demo we are starting our first class i if i want to make my impression maybe i can start performance tuning bulk collection something like that maybe few of them don't know these topics but you thought okay the teacher is very good he is teaching very stylish topic maybe he is very intelligent i should join the classes but i should not do that i don't want to make any as such impression with a few fantastic topics and this and that i will cover all the topics start from the base concept of database to the performance tuning ps sql at writing people all these things we are going to cover only my sessions are enough to all the people who join my batch i am telling you to everybody please don't read from google please don't read from anywhere just open my notes revise it and go you can crack all interviews and even you can work in your project as well you can just open my notes and whenever a scenario comes in your project start working that will work for you at that time as well that is the confidence i have and the same confidence i can see in the, all the people who join my classes 
see it's your it's your job you have to make your effort nobody is giving me salary if somebody is selected they will not say that okay vishal from your notes i got selected i will give you my first month salary nobody will give me salary so if this is your project your money right it's your not only life life improvement this is your career improvement everything is improved so you have to put your effort very simple it's for you you have to put your effort i am here to help you 24 by 7 any question anyone they can ping me the people knows about me who are all in the group right okay so let me start if anybody any question before starting let me know as i told you today the first session there is no demo arsad ask your question yeah hi vishal thanks for the session uh, my question is uh, do we have two classes or one class in a week we have two classes good question thank you Arshad. i missed that point we have been two classes two hours two hours saturday and sunday but this week and next week only one and a half one and a half hour because the few thing is left in b24 batch so that is also going on so i can't uh, speak four hours continuously so i make it 1.5 hours for this week and next week after that our time will be shifted as well the time will be 5 pm ist because in us after 10th march the 10th march on this date in us dst will be our means the, the time is one hour shifted in us for india there will be no effect but in us time will be shifted so for us it will be very late so what is happening after two weeks the time will be 5 pm ist so 5 pm to 5 to 7 pm so you are free your evening is free wherever you want you can go you can enjoy your time so i don't want to stuck like seventh so that you cannot go outside or cannot go to dinner also so i don't want to block the timing so that's so the time will be 5 pm after our uh this dst and for the us people it will be 7 30 am est the standard 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 time 7 30. so yes two week two days in a week four hours four hours is the session arsad means four hours i will speak to all of you rest five days in a weekday i am available if anybody want one to one that vishal this is the thing you are saying me and i don't understand it so please let me again we will sit it one to one together one to one i will i will create a different group if two three people want to join they can join it we can make a time it may be possible you can ping me and i was out maybe or i was having my dinner because i'm in us maybe most of you from india so our time is not matched i can say okay let's meet after half an hour or okay let's meet tomorrow that is possible but i will meet for sure one the weekdays monday to friday is for your one-to-one -one discussion for all the questions whatever you want all the revision whatever you want any doubt whatever you want and saturday and sunday four hours we are discussing in our class got it Arsat? yes we shall got it thank you so much okay uh, radha krishna you raise your hands uh it was the uh, same question uh, uh we shall uh, uh, since what since when the timing will gonna change to 5 After PM 10th, because in 10th march in us dst started right yeah okay so that uh, so are you know dst what is happening not sure I'm okay not sure. in us what is happening they've shifted the time when the winters start and the winter ends so the one hour time is shifted in us so for example right now it is 9 22 am okay yeah. so after 10th march it will be 10 22 am this time means uh, on 10th march we have 25 hours of day then after uh, the day will be shifted so something like that it will be go through march to november again in november the time is change again the distance difference is that okay, okay. so you. that is, and ma uh, ramya ask your question ramya you raise your hands ask your question uh yeah we shall so uh, from march as you were telling it's a uh, 5 pm ist mm -hmm. so in the east coast it will be 7 30 it's like yes. too early 7 30 is too early seriously Rama? <laughs> yes sir i do <laughs> like no. 7 30 is no, no, no. not see the best part is what sorry everyone just i want to make it one more here clarification you know 7 30 is why good you awake in the morning 7 30 by 9 30 you are free the whole weekday is yours you can see the white people if you're living in us they in the weekends they awake at 5 a.m in the morning so that they enjoy the whole weekend they're totally free in india what you thought okay today is sunday i have to sleep at till 10 because today is sunday because i wasted my five hours i advise you to be i'm telling you the few candidates i don't know prabha joined here is not today is the class or not prabha is from uk see join my class at 1 30 a.m in the night some people from australia they join the class in 2 33 a.m in the night some people from PST time zone, you don't believe it. In my previous batches, some people they awake in the morning by making uh, alarm and they join it at around uh, you know 4 a.m. in the 5 a.m. in the morning. Prabha, 
provide the same provide yes provide yes, yes i am here vishal yes, yes. So what provide provide from from me? From yeah. me? If they can join so late then why not you for you 7 30 morning is a very good time this is what i thought as early you awake you save your whole day think about it so this is a good ramya if you think about this situation you actually save your whole day if i if the class start with 9 9 to 11 then you know what it will take your whole day's block here your day is free okay Another i got thing, it Vishal, but uh, is there any other alternative like at 8 am or something no, like that I, I i don't think so ramya we'll discuss about that 30 minutes yeah. here and there but okay. right now no we can discuss about it after one two week when the people are confirmed how many people are joining the class then we can see about 30 minutes here and there but okay. not more than that maximum 30 minutes okay because for india also we have to think about it right okay one more thing jyoti just give me one second this the question asked here into the group i'm going to start the session today it is not only question answer session i'm starting total sense so, uh, go today class have a non-it background also beneficial okay, so i finally managed to get my youtube channel back Venkat, just one minute. Let me give answer first. Anjan, Anjan, ask a question. No, no, sorry. Devasri asks, is the SQL beneficial for which roles? Okay, which roles? Whenever you are learning SQL, if you want to come into IT, does not matter. You are working in a testing background, Java developer, Python developer, .NET developer, or support project anywhere. You have to know SQL. Without SQL, you cannot you cannot stand in IT. So forget about, irrespective of any thing if you just want to come to it sql is the first thing which you should learn there is no confusion at all database you must know okay Azhar, for non it if you want to come to it you have only one option that option is called sql very long time before people think about it is a testing but now testing is totally shifted to automation it is really tough for the non it background right so test one sql is the only option satis sql and ps sql session yes it's around 70 to 80 hours I never counted like this, but consider it is around to 80 hours. It should go. And other than 80 hour session, I am here. Uh, the 80 hours of notes you are getting, and I am available one to one for each and every topic, each and every doubt, right? Whatever doubt you have, I will give you a complete package how to crack that interview. Any interview, any interview. There are most of my students they are cracking Apple, uh, Meta interviews, right? There is service based company like. Infosys, Cognizant, TCS, these are very easy interviews. So don't worry for it, right? So definitely going. Devya, I'm college student. Yes, Devya, that you are college student means yes, you can learn as well. If you want to come to IT, SQL will help you a lot. Okay, Venkat, I want to learn T-SQL. Okay, are you teaching T-SQL or PSQL only? Good question, Venkat. I'm going to discuss that point as well. Okay, Jyoti, just after that, I'm coming to you. First of all, Remember every when when you go somewhere to uh, suppose in, in India right now there is a wedding session going on in February yes wedding session going on right everyone so when you go for any wedding session stall right there are lots of foods are there lots of food veg non veg right ice cream uh, you know sweets and uh, you know lots of snacks and lots of options right you don't you if you whatever capacity how much capacity you have you can go and eat right same like the job market is banked job market is a lot of job is up to you how you are going and catch the job why you are saying yourself that you are a sql developer or you are a t sql developer or you are a terror we are talking about sql sql is same either i am talking about my sql i am talking about ms sql i am talking about oracle i am talking about teradata i am talking about informix i am talking about sybase i am talking about db2 i am talking about mariadb i am talking about gupta db i am talking about hundreds of databases they all are same so market yourself, Venkat, market yourself that you are a database developer. Forget about MS SQL, MySQL, Oracle, Teradata, Informix, Sybase, DB2, MariaDB, forget about all these things. You are a database person. Think about it. Somebody come to your house and say that I want to, I, I, want, uh, I, I want a job in a maid, but I can do only, uh, only, only utensils. I don't know how to do the jhadu pocha. So can you give the job? Definitely not. You want a person who knows everything. So when you go to the market, market yourself just like you, you knows everything. This is what you have to market. You have to present yourself at the, to the interviewer that you know how it's working. If this is the concept working in SQL, remember concept never change. Does not matter you're working Oracle, MySQL, MS SQL, TB2, doesn't matter. Concept never change, concept exactly same. Here's little bit of syntax is different. But it is never possible, I am telling with my experience of 19 years, that if a 
person, if a company want T SQL, T SQL means that company using Microsoft and they are not selecting Oracle. It is not possible. Never. If, if a company is using Oracle and somebody giving interview as a T SQL, they don't, they will not hire them. It is not possible. Because they, they know that person work on SQL, that's it. He knows the concept how database work because they all are RDBMS. They, they, these all are what? R D B M S relational database management system. So they all are same. Everybody same. So do you teach uh, no SQL like MongoDB in this class? Or that, not? Is, that is not RDBMS. That okay. is not RDBMS. I'm talking about RDBMS. They all RDBMS are same. RDBMS work on a concept of ACID. We learn on ACID. No SQL worked on base. We are talking about AC property. These are all RDBMS, relational database management system, where we create tables. The concept is same, either T SQL or PL SQL, Oracle, Microsoft, MS SQL, Teradata, Informix, Sybase, DB2, MariaDB, as many databases you know. You know Puma, you know Nike, you know Adidas. They all are making shoes. They just are different brands. That's it. Or if you go to somewhere in Exxon, they are also making shoes. Lakhani, they also making maybe shoes. Depend upon the budget. If whatever the budget in your pocket, depend upon the budget, you can go and buy. iPhone is a phone. Right? And Nokia is also a phone. And Oppo is also a phone. It is not correct. Like you cannot say that by if I talk to from Apple iPhone 15, then voice is very clear. If I'm talking to Oppo, my voice is not clear. It will not possible, right? They all are concept is same. They are charging, depend upon their features. They all are different companies. What you want. Right, so focus on your concept. Now, Jyoti, you can ask your question. Uh, sure, thanks, Vishal. Uh, my question is, so every week we'll be learning new concepts, right, over the yes. weekend. Yes. Um, so would there be any like hands-on exercises where yes. uh, we get yes. to practice more because uh, that's yes. where yes. we uh, become more confident, right, with yes. the concept? I will we'll discuss about SQL, so much exercises. Practice, I'm giving questions, I'm giving tricks, and you all can also ask me the question. Sure, Vishal. But like, would there be any like uh, dedicated, uh, uh, like when I say homework, as in something that we do it over yes, the? I'm, I'm always I'm giving questions to whenever we discuss finish a SQL topic. Mm -hmm. Like suppose I'm discussing a concept, for example. Today I'm discussing concept of tables. But I'm not sure. giving exercise in table. Mm -hmm. Definitely not. But when I'm discussing anything on aggregate function, analytical function, case, mm -hmm. decode, right, SQL things, then definitely I will exercise to do all you can make a practice. Okay, got it. Thank right? you. Right. Yeah. Okay, and the last question that I'm going to start. He asking Riyaj is asking that PL SQL T SQL required a Power BI Tableau developer would see Power BI and Tableau. These are data visualization tool, right? Whenever we're talking about data science, there are different different things. Data visualization, right? We are talking about uh, data analysis. There are different different things are there. So for data visualization, right, the concept is come that is called Power BI or Tableau for visualize the data. You know SQL for that. PL SQL is not ready for this. PL SQL is a different concept. PL SQL is overall package that you know how database work, how database will work, how your procedures, functions. We learn all the topics: procedures, functions, trigger, performance tuning, cursors, right, uh, pipeline function, ref cursors. We can discuss each and every topic, right? So Power BI is a data visualization, and SQL is for data analysis. Okay, let me start today. These type of questions, what you have, you all can ask me. Let's utilize at least one hour to learn something. That's why you join the sessions. Okay, let's start. Okay, so thank you. Let me start. First of all, I'm telling you here, I have in my system, I installed SQL developer. Okay, if you want, you can install. If you don't want that somebody has a problem or basically from the non-IT background or people who are easy or new, that Visha or somebody who doesn't have a good laptop, you don't have to install anything. First of all, I'm telling you to all, all have what you have to go. I'm, I'm send everything into the notes. So you don't have to know, uh, uh, write it down anything. I will send everything to the notes. You can go to Google and write here live SQL. Enter. I will send everything. You can get an Oracle live SQL. Here you have to create an account. Simple. This is online. You just need an internet. That's it. You don't have to install database. Don't worry. You don't have to install database. You can create an account. I can go here, see sign in. I'm creating here. Suppose I don't have account. Let it open. 
you don't have to worry about anything you can go here and you create an account here i'm getting a create account i'm clicking on create account i will send all the steps into the email don't worry your email address will come here password password just one page job title is anything i am writing here anything work phone number company name anything that doesn't matter they are not going to verify you can write anything and you can create your account your account is created once your account is created you can just go your own password and sign in your databases come in front of you start coding your databases come in front of you you have the data here select star from hr dot employees you don't have to you don't have to worry about the data you don't have to worry about the tables everything is here right you don't have to maintain anything right you don't have to install anything these things is very easy to practice to learn and these are the latest version of oracle 19c so first of all you don't have this is the latest version as well so you don't have to worry about the first thing is the problem is solved to all of you is that you don't have to install anything this is my advice if you want to install oracle you can install, or mysql or mssql or db2 teradata whatever you want you can install or mysql is up to you but if you don't have so don't have to worry about it you don't have to worry about it that i have to install anything we shall how to install i can give you the uh, steps to install if you want otherwise i prefer everybody so directly go and create an account here sign in again okay just go and create account here database is okay so this is what i'm going let's start the first topic first of all we are talking about database right database means we are talking about tables what are tables what is database database is a place where data resides simple just like our home we are reside database is a home for data where data resides where data reside data resides are in tables just tables are just like cupboard in our home or almira whatever you can say we store our clothes right in almira or cupboard in the same like we store data into tables there are different different types of tables into the database for example in my home right see this here in my home i have this table see this this is called my dining table right there are some eight seater dining table this is dining table in the same way i in my home i have a breakfast table see different different types of tables i have in my house the same i have in my house i have a study table right different different tables i have in my house i have suppose in my house itself i have a uh, what side table lamp table whatever you can say a side tables where i can put my night lamp on this different different types of tables in my homes the same way different different types of tables in the database different different types of tables in the database as well just like different different types of tables in my i, I have in my home which is used for different different purposes in the same way in the database we have different different type of tables that is the first interview question i am going to discuss to all of you in every day in the class whenever we are discussing a particular topic we will go to the concept and we are going to the tricky questions from here different different types of tables we have mainly four types of tables in the database number one that is called index organized table index organized you don't have to note down anything i send everything to the notes don't worry index organized number two heap organized number three that is called external table and number four that is called temporary table that's it okay forget about my handwriting and spelling index organize heap organize external table and temporary table these are four types of table just like in our house we have different different tables that same way in the database we have different different type of tables right this table is primary purpose is dining what is index organized and the first question in the interview difference between index organized table and heap organized table understand it here one second somebody is pinging me just give me one minute Okay, just give me one second.
sorry somebody's thing we just give one second yeah okay index organized table and heap organized table difference between these of things just like suppose this is my table dining table okay think a basic scenario i'm talking about in my home right i have two kids in my home okay they came from school they put their school bag here on dining table itself okay good i came from somewhere i put my car keys here they came from library they put their books also here anywhere somebody go to the outside they put their clothes also here on the same dining table some packet arrived from the courier they put the courier package also here i mean this is just like a dining table but what we are using i'm talking about a typical indian family right how they are using their dining tables okay so don't laugh if anybody think that how vishal is living okay but that is what we are or normally mostly the indian families are so we have a dining table in our house but suppose we came from outside we just put our car keys on the dining table we put our you know laptops on the dining table the kids will came and they put their books on the dining table they put their school bag on the dining table my wife put their her handbag on the dining table it means until the time we are not eating we are utilizing this table with anything agree anybody else facing the same problem in their house anybody right uh, right understand we, this is happening very very common right or suppose in in the fridge refrigerator on the top side of the fridge we have our purse on the top of the fridge we have a car keys on the top of the fridge we are using like this right what is happening think about it i after 2 hours i have to go outside so what i will do i will come to this dining table and search okay hello i put my car keys but there are hundreds of things on the dining table i put here and there here and there the laptop the books and this you know the school bags and then oh here is my keys the things are not arranged in a proper way the things are not arranged in a proper way so it will took me time to search the data that where is my car keys but think about it let's suppose this is my dining table and when i decided that when kids will come they put their bags here any books will be here the wallet and keys will be here and the parcel will come they put here i decided my table in a particular format into my 8 feet dining table that here is my school bags here is my car keys here is my uh, any package here is my all these things will come here so what is happening in this scenario suppose there are 100 things that's okay but when i have to search for a keys i directly come i know this area has the keys so there are three four items i will pick my keys and go there searching is easy understand that is the concept of index organized table index organized table is a table which must contains a primary key what is primary key that i will discuss tomorrow on the day after tomorrow don't worry we'll discuss each and every concept but understand it here this index organized table is always has a key means something which is uniquely identify the data it is required it cannot create a table means there is something defined this but this is uh, this place associated for this particular thing so when talking about index organized table it means it must contains a key like this called iot index organized table is also called as iot it always comes with a primary key and all other tables by default every table is a heap organized heap organized means whenever a new thing will come is just put inside means every new data comes with a new row every new data comes with a new row that is called the concept of heap organized table so by default each of our table is heap organized right it means whenever oracle insert a new row it gets a new data and every new row inserted every time but index organized table means everything go into the correct place if i make it index organized mean things go on correct place heap organized means for this record next record here 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 heap organized if i talking about index organized if next record value should only be it will come here in this place you cannot go randomly put here next record is position is here it come here everything goes in a proper place that is the concept of index organized table so what is the difference between index and heap organized table heap organized by default every table is a heap organized means whenever a new row will come the new row will go on every new record will go to the new row every new record inserted in a new row that is called is not heap organized it's called heap h e a p azar h e a p heap organized heap organized means every new row go sorry every new data comes with a new row 
every new data comes into my table that a new row right in a random anywhere just stuck one to the top one to the top one one to the top one one to the top just like i give the example of my dining table everybody come and just put the place here 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 just we are putting the things on my dining table i'm using my dining table as a put everything in that is called heap heap organized but when you talk about index organized table things will be properly mannered things will be properly associated on a particular place the place is fixed that is called the concept of index organized the benefit of index organized is think about the benefit everything comes with their plus and minus part one thing i want to tell you we'll then discuss more in the session right sometimes interviewer make you confused that okay suppose who is faster what is good can i in is faster exist is faster update is faster merge is faster delete is faster or truncate is faster or can i do this or i can do this think what everything has their own advantage and disadvantage if suppose every time in is faster then database definitely remove exist or every time if exist is faster then database are not stupid they remove in right they can but the, everything is in place because everything has their plus and minus point so in the benefit of using index organized table is the data is sorted data is arranged searching a data is very fast sorry yes searching a data is fast here right putting the data here it can take a time because data is because i if i want to put a new row so i cannot go randomly here i have to find a particular position where this data should go it will go here this new data will go here putting the data inserting the data into the table that can be time taking but selecting the data from the table is faster that is called the concept of index organized table the benefit is selection is faster and one more benefit is what data is not duplicate we have a primary key what about primary key we'll discuss about it don't worry any topic any word which is coming from my mouth i am considering here that you all are new i don't care that how much experience you have right first five to six sessions is all about the base because i i want your concept should be so quick so strong that when we talk about PL SQL, when I talk about performance tuning, when I talk about advanced concept, you all understand it. Okay, yes, Vishal, this is the problem. I understand it. The people who are working here, who actually work in a real time project, think about a scenario in your project. Suppose the ETL job is fail. Few people here definitely have eight, 10 year experience. Your ETL job is fail. Your bad job is fail. Your procedure is fail. And you have to debug the procedure. What is the issue coming into the procedure? Go to the last line. Actually, the issue is, you know what? Very small, basic concept issue. Issue is maybe duplicate record, try to insert, constant fail, foreign key fail, not null in the sense I am trying to, my procedure want to insert null. The, if you just read the error message, is actually 90% of the time it fails because of the basic concept, if you know that. If you know the basic concept, if you can implement the same your procedure function package, whatever you wrote, it will be working perfectly. Right? So we can focus on main concepts here. So when we talk about heap organized index organized, the benefit of using heap organized and benefit of using heap organized is what? That data insertion is very fast. Whenever I come to my this dining table, I can stand here and throw from here my keys. The keys will go and land somewhere into my dining table. I don't know where, but it lands somewhere into the dining table. Inserting data is so fast. If I have to make a proper rule that if I come to my dining table, my keys will come into the left hand side corner. So I should come here and then stand here and then put the keys here it will took me time because i have to arrange the data it will taking me time but selection is very fast index organized table the selection is fast heap organized table the insertion is fast till here anybody any confusion heap organized table index organized table anyone anyone till here i'm going to more detail in heap organized index organized i'm just talking about tables and nothing talking about any concept okay understand it here i don't want to make it any random topic impression to all of you today's class is the first class for all the people who will continue i don't want to waste their time okay so that's when so that we don't have to repeat the table when we create table right we know how to create table people will know that i can go here writing okay let me tell you syntax create table table name this are we creating a Table I'm writing suppose x y z, right? I will let you know how in just few minutes. 
I'm writing here, suppose all the columns, I'm writing an ID number. What is this ID number? That all I will discuss in few minutes. Name, where care to, what is this where care to, what is this number? That all I will discuss, 20. If we create this table normally, that is called index, or sorry, heap organized table, by default table. For organized table, if I'm creating, I have to remember one line. Every index organized table must contain a primary key. Contain. What is primary key? I will discuss mostly in third class, hopefully. But here you just for table, you understand it or just listen it out for me for a few minutes. We can make this all concept. Okay, one more thing I want to tell you. One example I always give in my sessions. Okay, I just I want to make you here because few people can think that why this topic is coming. Uh, like suppose primary key and Vishal is not teaching. I want to tell you one example, okay, to all of you. In 2011, right? I give this example to many of my batches. In 2011, I went to Europe, right, to one of my project implementation. When I reach Europe, right, my managers is my one of my manager is Yanis Papazario. Yanis Papazario is my manager, okay, at that time. And we reached the US. The problem with five, six, I my experience was I think five to six years experience. The problem with five to six years experienced person are they thought that they are very intelligent. That is the problem with everybody, human that they're very intelligent i know everything and i don't know why my manager is not understanding my logic is correct or what i am thinking that is correct that is how i can solve the problem but my manager is not understanding here's the problem with five six year experience person and the same problem with me as well because i am also a human so when i reach there my manager gave me everything that every day that okay we shall uh do this do that develop this develop that and I, every day i thought I don't know why this person telling me this and that I came here to develop a software. We are here for we are working in development project, but I don't know why he's doing like this. Okay, why should I care? I go to Europe. I went to Europe. I I mostly I try to every weekend I have to go and you know roam here and there. Definitely, when you came from India, things are very new and we everybody wants to you know go around the things and try to explore the world. So for me, it looks like very easy. But after two months, you know what happened? What this person did? He took all my developed things, whatever I he told me to write this procedure, this function, this procedure. He combined all together and my product is prepared. This person knows that what the task I am telling Vishal to do. Uh, we have three, four, three, four members. He decided everybody a particular task. This person knows that what he's trying to build. In the and at the after two months, we are actually wonder, oh my God, we did all these things, this completed. Because we have no idea. This person knows. In the same way, with my 19 or experience, I'm trying to tell you, I know what I'm teaching. I, and I know what I'm about to teach. And I know that after my session, you don't need anything. But you have to put your effort. So when I'm giving this word, something here, Vishal is saying, okay, just leave it here. We'll discuss in next class. Just leave it there. Something comes to your mind, you can ask me one to one, but don't worry about it that Vishal will leave the particular topic. I will never leave any single topic. Never. I will start from scratch and go to advance. A single topic will not leave left to all of you. You will cover everything. Everything means everything. Okay. Sorry, let's come back. So when talking about the concept of heap organized, index organized, when we create index organized table, so how to create index organized table? Every table must contain a primary key. We can create it. Suppose I'm writing table here, create, and don't worry about what is create table. Just focus on how to create index organized. How do you distinguish between normal table and index organized table? I'm getting a table, suppose batch 25. I'm writing here ID, number, name, where call to, Suppose 20. What is this 20? What is this? All I will discuss in a few minutes. Just, just wait for a few minutes. This is table created. That is heap organized table. When I have to create index organized table, right? Same table. Let me drop this table once. I don't want to get multiple tables. Index organized table. In case of index organized, the first rule is every table must contain a primary key. Right, and in the last, a word is coming that is called organization, organization index created. That is index organized table. What is the benefit of this table? That is the question for the people more than five year experience. 
for these i am giving this interview question interviewer is saying i want to create a table and i want whenever i do select staff from a table the table always give me data in a particular order the people having experience more than 5 years this question is only for them they know that if i don't use order by the data is not coming in a particular order data is coming random select a staff from a table data will always come into the random order suppose i am writing select a staff from employee i can see maybe employee id 100 first then 101 102 then 105 107 maybe somebody living in india they do select a staff from employee they can see employee id 500 first data comes in a random order there is no guarantee data will come in a particular order but this interview question can i write it without using order by can i display the data in a particular order yes if the table created as a organizational table index organized table if i create a iot then the data will always arranged in a particular order you don't have to do order by data display in order got it understand and this question to everyone more than five experience this question is for you all okay anyway so this is what i created organization index my iot is created index organized table is a type of table that is stored a data into b3 format b3 format means like this format the people who are new don't worry about it this b3 format we all we will discuss but i am talking about index organized table so i am giving a benefit b3 means balanced tree data will be balanced like this this is how what this is how iot will work index organized table will work right index organized table if you try to create index organized table without a primary key let me see i'm dropping the table let me show you drop table this see this here interview question can i create index organized table without a primary key let's see i'm doing this you will get an error you cannot create a prime index organized table without a primary no primary key found i am trying to create a index organized table so you must define a primary key without that you cannot do that and how do i identify that i have a table created so i am writing here primary key okay please close the door when i create a primary key then my table created how do i know that i have a table is primary key or not so i can go select star from user underscore tables what is underscore tables they are data dictionaries whenever we store a database whenever we create a database any database oracle mysql ms sql in oracle it is called user underscore table in mysql it is called information underscore schema dot tables that's it this table contains a column that column called iot underscore type where i'm writing where table underscore name is equal to batch 25 this table i created you can see this this there is a column called uh, iot underscore type let me show you come on iot type this value is iot index organized table so if this value will be iot it means my table is index organized table next question somebody can ask you that data is coming here and one more question what i told you let me create one this is my index organized table let me create one more table without index organized a normal table heap table, heap table. select star from batch 24 and getting a table 24 normal table see the difference between both everybody can see this this is concept you should know all these things how the table work oh 24 table is already there okay one second drop table batch 24 I am creating a table. Create table, drop table batch 24. Why it's not dropping? Maybe there is 251. That's okay. Don't waste time. Create table 251. I created a table. This is a normal table. Let me insert some data. Everyone can see that. In, this is how I'm inserting the data. Insert into table name. Insert into table name values. I'm inserting values one first. See this here. One, I'm writing three, I'm writing four, I'm writing two. I'm inserting these four records into my table. Oh, sorry, there are two records. ID, comma, num name, suppose A, B, C. Just give me two minutes. After this example, I give you an option to ask the questions. I'm inserted four record into my table. 
I'm writing select star from somebody can call it a star. Some people can call it all anything you can see. I'm writing select star from table means give me everything from table. So I'm writing it here. I can see one, three, four, two, one, three, four, two. Let me insert the same data into batch 25. You can see batch 25 is a new table I created that is index organized table. I inserted the same record into batch 25 table. I'm writing select star from batch 25. You can see the difference. Data comes sorted one, two, three, four. Previously, one, three, four, two. You can see the difference between index organized and heap organized. Heap organized can contain data as it is. There is no guarantee until and unless we haven't used order by the people who knows order by. They don't know, don't worry about it. I will take a total more than one hour class on order by. Don't worry. The people who knows order by, they know that data come in a random order. But when it, random order. But when I use index organized table, batch 25 index organized table, we can store anywhere, however we want. It always go and short the data. Data is shorted in a particular fashion. That is called the concept of index organized. Ask me a question if anybody has. I'm waiting here. Anybody, any doubt on index organized and heap organized? Anyone, any doubt, any question? Jagdish, Vankat, Jyoti. Sir, will you provide class notes for this session, right? For every yes, session, yes, right? Yes, don't worry. It does not matter if you are joining my session or not, buddy. But if you join my session today, you will definitely get the notes. Okay. So don't worry for it. I, I That's have, why I want everybody to be I'm, in the session. I'm confused. Today is first day, but you are directly talking about the indexes and R. Okay. I mean, no, I'm not talking about indexes. Don't get confused. I'm talking about tables. Tables. Okay. I'm talking about type of table. Table is the first thing which you know. Table yes. is the first thing when I'm talking about database, my data, see, okay. You can see my Facebook, everybody. Yes. Everybody able to see my Facebook. Okay. Yes. Suppose this is one, see, Dipesh Agrawal is saying to Ankit Khattar, happy birthday. This is the application. I go here. I like it. I make a comment. Happy birthday, birthday, Ankit sir. Enter. This is data. This is data. This is application. Understand the point. When we talk about data, when we talk about data, right? So data means application is created. Whatever comes into my table, this is my Facebook is my one application. Whatever I'm doing here, liking one data inserted, making a comment, one data inserted. That is what data. It's a table which definitely maintain all this information. So when it talks about table, there are basically four types of table, just like in my house, dining table, study table, office table, right? Breakfast table. We have index organized table, heap organized table. We have external table. We have temporary tables. We have these four types of table in our database, right? Index organized, heap organized external table and temporary table these four type of tables we have into our database so when talk about index organized table the benefit of index organized table is data will be organized so you don't have to memorize it organize if somebody can ask you how it is organized this is what people if you go to the google and try to search difference between heap organized then from the google you can answer interviewers are very smart because against your answer you are getting salary understand it here it is not an exam that somebody can ask an answer and you give an answer. Examiner give you okay, eight out of ten. I will give to Venkat. Okay, Jyoti give better answer, good handwriting, nine out of ten. Okay, Prava is more more handwriting, ten out of ten. It is not number. What the answer you gave, you are getting paid for it, right? So interviewer ask you the question. Okay, how index organized table you are saying that it will give you data in a particular order? Then it comes to concept you can serve because index organized table will mean Maintain an index. Maintain index means don't worry about. Index. Have you ever any book? Open any book. Go to the last page. We have index. Right, everyone? You are able to listen, everyone, to me? Hello? Yeah, now it's fine. We shall. Okay, it looks. Like a little bit of uh, connection here and there. Okay, so so this is what Venkat I'm trying to say. Whenever other other is is came now. Okay, so when this is what I'm trying to say, Venkat, we have to learn the concept. 
why why index organized table give you data in a particular order because they arrange the data because of their indexing just like in a book we have index right you have a book right you have index. suppose you have a dictionary oxford dictionary from oxford dictionary for a particular word queen you go to the last page and see where q start with page number 540 then you come to 540 if suppose there is no page number concept you can go and randomly go to the whole uh, what is it dictionary you're not able to find out where the q word is start it will take a lot of time to all of you so this is what index for, because you know database index that's why you relate to each, to yourself don't relate anything you just focus that why index uh, index organized table will give me the data because it it maintained a sorting it maintained an arrangement it maintained a format that i have to save the data in a particular order that is the benefit of using index organized data insertion can take time because i have to find out which particular place i have to put my keys if i heap organize i'll stand my kitchen and throw from here and there's my my car keys in the air and that's landed on the, my dining table heap organized but index organized i cannot throw the keys i come back to my dining table i know that keys are here just like in the house you know most of in indians i know that over the phrase refrigerator they put their wallet 90 percent of the indian family they put their wallet over the refrigerator but if the wallet is not there they thought oh my god where is the wallet i, I put it here because there is no organizing structure this is heap organized and index organized okay. if a table is all in drivers and not index organized can you later amend the table and make it make it to index organized we can create the index on top of that when it discuss about index right then i will take this topic don't consider this topic now i will when i go to the index topic right namrata i will definitely take this topic this question then you can relate how index is behaving right okay let's come back we are learning here sql right because i'm just talking about tables in the tables i have to fetch data for fetching data in front of you i just run a query select a star what is this query means what is this query means this query means this is what is sql what is SQL? SQL is structured query language. A language by which me and you can talk to each other. For example, I give this example always. For example, I'm just taking an example. Venkat, your example. Okay. Suppose I'm just giving an example. Don't take it otherwise. Suppose you don't know Hindi and English. I am from North India. I know only two languages. Or suppose my mother tongue is Hindi. Okay, Venkat. Suppose your mother tongue is Tamil or Telugu. Okay. Now how do we communicate? Definitely, we are two different languages. We cannot communicate to each other. So, what can we do? We have a common language, English, by which we are communicating to each other. In the same way, database contains data into the table. So, how do I tell to the database? Suppose I go here and tell database, give me all data from batch 25. If this is pure English, you understand it. I understand it because we know English. I am running this. It is giving me error. What is this unknown command? Database don't know what you are running. It is giving unknown command. This is not the, because for database, this is Kala Akshar Bhaiya's Brahma. For database, this is not a particular language. He not understand it. So we have to talk in his language. So for this language, we are just like we have Spanish, we have French, we have Tamil, we have Telugu, we have Kannad, we have Spanish. So many languages. Same as a language. I'm talking when I'm saying select a star from this, then database understand. Okay, you want to see all the data. So this and this both are same. This is English, this is SQL. So this is SQL. SQL means a structured query language, a language by which we can talk. Simple. When we talk about database, I'm going to discuss one very important question today. Okay, we have just 20 minutes left. Languages is a different type of database language we have we have one language called ddl one is called dml right we are mainly focus on ddn dml and tcl that's it we don't have to focus any other thing right dql also you can say data query language is type of select statement ddl means data definition language dml means data manipulation language tcl means transaction control language and dql means data query language that is called your select statement Whenever I'm talking about DML, that is called your insert, your update, and delete. Insert, update, and delete is called 
DML statement and every DML must follow by TCL. TCL means commit or rollback. Definitely. I will give an example in a few minutes. Just wait. A very good question here in the interview. Almost all interviews nowadays this type of question. So insert, update, delete, commit and rollback. Every DML, every DML must followed. Must. Must means definitely. Must followed by TCL, commit or rollback. DDL is data definition language when defining something. It means create, alter, drop, truncate, modify. These are DDL statements. If you just remember this thing, insert, insert, update, delete, right? That is a DML rest other. You can just consider for today. Everything is DDL. Insert, update, delete always followed by commit and rollback. Now commit, rollback and save point. There are three things in TCL actually. Sorry. For example, commit rollback and save point also. Commit means what? Commit me uh, sorry, commit means what? Permanent save into the system. That all you all know. Rollback means what? Reverted back. Whatever I did, I revert back. Row save point means what? We can save till a particular point. And if you want to roll back, we can roll back till the particular point. The first question come into the interview, easy questions for people experience less than two years. Difference between DDL and DML. So DTL is remember one thing. The most important topic here is DDL is auto commit. Auto commit means it will commit at everything. Whenever you write DDL, DDL will commit everything. If there is an interview question into the interview, let discuss a scenario based question. Then automatically you will understand rather than giving example. I am getting a table. Let me see the table drop table A. Table A we have. Okay, let me see. I am getting a table. Create table A. I'm writing ID number. My table created. I'm writing here insert into A values. I'm writing suppose example one. Data inserted. I can see select a star from A. I can see the data. But when I make it roll back, data is roll backed reverted back when i go to again select star from a i cannot see the data data is reverted back but when i insert the data basic concept insert the data and suppose i make a commit commit means permanent save into the system when something is committed if i try to roll back there is no impact because if something is committed means committed i make a rollback but still i go to select star from a i can see the data because that will not work at all rollback will not work now there is scenario based question here I'm writing something to all of you, right? I'm writing interviewer asking a question to all of you like this into the interview. Interviewer saying insert into A. Everyone listen to this question. Values. Suppose I'm inserting two. Three. Okay. Then I'm writing here. Most of people know this question is so common, at least 90% of you know the answer. So that's why interviewer now is starting making a tricks here. Let's understand the trick also. I'm create table B. I'm separating ID and number to have table B or let's make it table B. To have a table B already, let me delete it. Drop table B if I have it. No, there is no B. That's okay. Create table B ID number. Then I'm writing here, insert into this mode, this table two more times. Insert record four and five, and I make a rollback. Understand the scenario. Interviewer asking in the interview, I have a table. My table contains one record. Select star from A. My table contains one record. I'm inserting record number two, three, like this. Then I created another table. Then I insert two more records. Then I roll back. How many records into the table? See the scenario one more time. I have a table. This question is almost, I'm expecting 90% of you know the answer. I have a table. My table contains record one. I inserted record two and record three. Then after I created a table. Okay. Then after I inserted record four and five. And then after I roll back. What is roll back will do? Rollback will revert it back. 
because I haven't insert update insert is what insert update delete is DML command data manipulation language. Every DML is must be satisfied by commit or rollback. Once I do commit, then only data is permanently saved. But here I haven't make a commit. I make a rollback. But when I go to the database, select star from A, my table contains three records. So one, two, three. Only four and five rollback because. I issue a create table command. Create table is DDL. What is DDL? DDL is auto commit. DDL is auto commit. So the property of DDL statement is the property of DDL statement is DDL always, DDL always first committed. So interval will make a trick. Interval will say, okay, suppose my DDL fail. Understand the question, everyone. Interval make a trick and say, Suppose my DDL fail, then what happened? Suppose I'm writing it here and my DDL fails, then what happened? Okay, let's see this example everywhere. Every, anyone, suppose my DDL fail. I'm trying to make a table again. My table contains this record one, two, three. I'm inserting here four. I'm inserting here five. I'm inserting here six. I'm inserting here seven. My table contains one, two, three. I'm running this. I'm running four. It is inserted. I am running five. It is inserted. I am running DDL. My DDL fail. That gives error. Name is already exist. Then I am running six. Then I am running seven. It is inserted. You can see. Then I make a rollback. Now, when I do select a star from A, how many record in the table? Who can answer? Very good question. Let me repeat the question one more time to all of you who don't understand it here. I have a table, my table contains three records. After that, I inserted two records, record number four and record number five. Then I run a DDL and my DDL is fail. Then after I run record number six and record number seven, and then I did a rollback. So how many record into the table? Who can answer me? Three records. Three records. Three records. See, that's what what I told you. I told you this question is very common. If you go to the internet, ninety percent of the public give three answer. I know that that is wrong actually. Okay, so if you go to the this question is very common, and almost everybody knows who going for interview that whenever I run a DDL command, DDL is auto commit. It will save. But here you that's why interviewer make a trick. Interviewer ask a question that interviewer ask a question that my DDL fail. Then what happened? You can see your DDL fail, but I still have a record. Why it happened? But record number six and seven is rollback. Your DDL fail. Why your DDL fail? See the error. Your DDL fail is name is already exist. This is considered as a DDL statement. It is. It is not failed by syntax. It is. It is not failed by syntax. It is failed because this table already exists. For database, it's a DDL command which fire. So the one DDL fire. What is the what is the benefit of using DDL is the property of using DDL is DDL will first go auto and commit. auto commit. This record four and five is committed. This is the interviewer make a trick into the question. This is a very basic concept of DDL and DML. I'm not talking about anything special concept. DDL and DML. And I'm telling you one thing. If in your interview, you are not able to answer the basic conceptual question. Does not matter how good you prepare on procedure, function, exception, handling, performance, tuning, and all, you are Hundred <laughs> percent. Interviewer has decided here itself that he will he will not select you. If you not answer any basic question, answer is wrong. Basic concept. It's okay if you answer if you wrong answer any procedure function exception handling tricky questions fancy questions. If you answer wrong, that's okay. But if you not answer any basic conceptual question, it means you are not okay at all. Next twenty minutes, interviewer has to time pass anyway because he has to take your thirty minute interview. A forty-five minute interview is just like I'm telling you again. How many of you watch the Chuck the India movie? I hope everybody in India. I don't know anybody in India who lives who never watched Chuck the India movie. If you watch Chuck the India, Saru Khan says the seventy-minute dialogue. Remember, if you play your best seventy minutes, nobody will defeat you. In the same, in the interview, if you do your best fifty minutes, you definitely got selected. And how this fifty minute will be? That is the trick we are going to learn. You have to. You have to set the narrative. You never give a chance to interviewer to ask the question. You force the interviewer to ask me this question. 
you know cricket everybody knows cricket or football if you making a cricket if you playing a cricket game suppose for example okay that jaspreet bumrah is bowling okay somebody make uh, the batsman a hard hit and on the long on there is a player who get a catch but who is getting the wicket at it to jaspreet bumrah because he get the wicket he got the wicket because he forced the batsman to hit in this direction where the fielder is there same way you have to force the interviewer to ask the question what you want him to ask i will teach you all how to set the narrative at the time of interview this is what we am going to teach how to crack interviews in you don't give interviewer the chance to ask the question you force them okay ask me this and that is how interviewer will ask you the question interviewer are humans they are not machine they are human they are not set programming whatever you if you have a caliber that you can set a narrative you can set it let's see this here so what is happening this particular create table command is a ddl command it is a fail so when interviewer say you suppose the ddl fail then what happen then your answer is if this ddl fail any other issue other than syntax error other than syntax error if there is no syntax error it means it is a ddl then the ddl the basic property is it will commit first the data is committed but if it is a ddl there is no syntax error it means the ddl fire data is committed 4 and 5 6 and 7 not committed but suppose i make a mistake i something something i make a syntax difference create b this is a syntax issue suppose here i am inserting 6 i am inserting 7 i am inserting 8 i am inserting 9 see this here my table contains five records 1 2 3 4 5 i am inserting i am inserting 6 see this here data 6 inserted i am inserting 7 7 inserted now there is syntax difference i am trying to run a ddl but syntax error In invalid command there is no ddl it is not considered ddl now i am inserting 8 inserted i am inserting 9 now i roll back now you know what everything roll back so i start from here only 1 2 3 4 5 getting the question you understand how the tricky question come into the interview how to make a tricks got the point everyone how ddl and dml work anyone any doubt here in this question please anyone any doubt that is how ddl and dml work please repeat last okay let me repeat it again no problem i am telling you the concept of ddl and dml what is the concept of ddl and dml is the concept of ddl and dml is data definition language data manipulation language ddl is has a property called auto commit so whenever we fire a ddl ddl will auto commit the things interviewer can ask you any questions interviewer can ask you any question the scenario suppose for example i'm writing here i'm making one more scenario create table I understand one more time id number my table created interviewer ask you i have a procedure procedure means beginning forget about this all this world basically interviewer want to ask you ddl and dml but in will tell you like this make a, make a situation i have a procedure in my procedure i am inserting a data insert into a values 1 insert into a values 2 then after in the same procedure i am creating an index what is this execute immediate what is that index i will let you know forget about it just and consider here data interviewer trying to make a interviewer trying to create a index here Execute immediate. I'm writing here. Create index id x underscore b index index name on any table b id. Basically, what interviewer say? I am creating an index. I'm creating one more table b. Inserting data into a and trying to create index on b. Okay. And then suppose I want to make three and four. Three. Comma four, right? And I make a rollback. This is what interview question is. Understand it here? I run this statement. Then my procedure is completed. Oh, sorry, rollback not semicolon. Sorry. Send processed. Interview tell I make an index. Anything when I write create command. Create means DDL. Create means DDL. So when the DDL fire, what the DDL will do? It will committed record number one, record number two. After that, DDL is committed. 
once something is committed that is permanently committed three and four will be rolled back i'm writing a select star from a i can see in my table record number one and two inserted suppose i'm run the same command one more time see this here again same time three four i think five and six i'm running now this time my ddl fail by this time my ddl fail why because index already created name is already exist my index created already but that's okay but it's a ddl means it will committed these two things again one two three four but suppose there is a syntax issue syntax issue i'm trying to insert here five six syntax issue then it will be rolled back as well that is not inserted at all invalid command syntax issue that is not considered as a ddl not inserted interviewer make a trick like this into the interview so if my interviewer asks you if the ddl fail then what happened so you have to say if the ddl fail because of syntax issue it means it is not considered as a ddl then the data is not committed but if the ddl fail other than syntax issue anything it means it is considered your voice is breaking sorry your voice is not audible your voice, your voice is not audible yeah it's coming now actually some uh, something is is good now okay i think it's good now right yeah yeah yes yes, yes, yes. what trying to say today uh, we basically we invested our 30 to 45 minutes in starting and that how we are going to teach what we are going to do okay so as i told you everyone who join late after every session just like here in b24 batch you are getting notes each and every topic whatever you are guessing everybody able to see my screen yes 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 see any topic what we are discover topic view we are discussing you are getting the notes that notes contains whatever discussed in the class i will take the screenshot and give in here into the view that in into the notes and my notes and my class are enough to crack any interviews whatever we are discussing everything will be here any topic i am learning triggers suppose for example right go here into the trigger everything will be here whatever we are discussing how the trigger behave how the data behave what is happening we did dml and three record inserted everything you receive into the notes as well and i want everyone to attend the session okay so thank you so much i will send the notes to all of you we are meeting again tomorrow same time okay thank you thank you so much thanks bye thank you sir thank you Vishal. thank you, thank you and if any question anybody thank you are helping me personally as well okay thank you thank you thank you thank you sir